Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA San Andreas the Definitive Edition. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you do, please drop a like on it. It does help the, the series out a lot. But on this part, we're going to be doing the driving school and also the car dealership missions. And hopefully we don't have another glitch disaster as we did um, on the last part. So here we go. Let's do this. And I actually don't like the driving school. Um, uh, it starts out pretty easy, but um, it gets really annoying later on. Um, Okay, here we go. This, we just basically do a um, 360 spin. Okay, there we go. The 180. You get 70% or higher to pass. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Ah! Oh, did I actually pass it? Okay, I passed it. Um, I'll go clockwise. Okay, that was that. Oh, this is where they pop your tires. Burn and lap. Okay. Clockwise. You need to complete driving school in order to, um... In order to do the car dealership missions. Okay, what did I get on that? Uh, okay, 81%. Okay, it was whatever. Um, look, I, I look at how it's an old 1990s TV, too. Um, ah. No. I got a damage penalty, but it didn't stop there. Um, oh, I gotta do it again. Now the thing is, uh, the so the driving school. Some of these challenges can actually be really ridiculous. I didn't get a. Yeah, you gotta get seventy percent at least to pass. Ah! Hit the cones. Yeah, this is not looking good. 49% is awful. Okay, there we go. Past that. The 90. What is this? Oh no, this one. I really hate this one. I remember a year ago when I did this one. This is the one that pissed me off. No. Now, you gotta basically try to park, parallel park, while speeding. No, close. No. Terrible. Yeah, and a year later in the remastered one, I'm also having problems with it. 
Ah, 68%. That was so close. Okay, I got it. This one. This one's a nightmare, too. Okay, we passed it. Ooh. I actually passed that one pretty quickly. Okay. Pit maneuver. What is this? Oh, this is where you gotta... You gotta try to spin a car out. Okay, we got it there. Ali, um, oop. Why would this be in a, in a driving school? Why would you need to learn how to do this in a driving school? Okay. Ah! Yeah, I think CJ's gonna sue the driving school at this point. With injuries. They want you to basically flip the car, like... No. No, no, no! I had it, but it, it just won't stop flipping, that's the problem. Results? What? I zero. That I did it perfectly there. Ah, no. My god, yeah, I, re I remember how bad these driving challenges were. Come on. Come on, we got you. Damn. I got zero on the score. Whoa. Okay, that it wasn't even a barrel world, but it counted, but I'll take it. Oh, this is the final challenge now. Well, at least we got a GPS mar marker, but we gotta get to one end of the city to the other, and we gotta get there without crashing and complete this course as fast as possible. Ah, okay, it's got a little spin out there, but... These hills. Come 
on, we can do this, we can do this. Ooh, look at that. Overall score, 100%. We got it. I think that's it, right? Ooh. Oh. We passed the driving school. Oh my god. Now that we passed the driving school, we can actually buy the car dealership across the street, so let's do that. Oh. Yo, CJ. It's like, uh, Jethro, dude. Hey, Jethro, how is it? Yo, dude. The garage is coming along nicely, man. But I rang about something else. There's an unofficial street racing club in San Fierro. Unofficial as in illegal, right? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Anywho, they uh, meet up around the He means the uh, he doesn't want to get tapped on the phone by the might, police. You know, like to know. Thanks, Jethro. I'ma think about it, and I'll holla at you. Later, man. Okay, we're gonna be able to buy the car dealership now. Speak on it. This is a friend of yours. I've got some information relating to your brother. Come to my ranch and I'll explain. It's in Chiara Robota, across the Garber Bridge, head south. Who the fuck is this? I can't talk right now. Get your ass over here. Mom's always told me not to talk to strangers. And look what happened to the bitch. Now if you want your brother to go to sleep tonight with his tongue intact, get your ass over here. Goodbye. Yeah, and we're gonna find out who that is uh, on the next part, but on this part, we're gonna be, um, we're gonna be doing the car dealership. Oh, you can't buy this property yet? What are they... should be able to. Hmm. Oh. Hello? Yo, it's Jethro, man. Listen, me and Caesar have used our contacts to, like, get a wish list of cars, but we'll need to turn them around real quick, dude. Now, there's a showroom around the block that's come up for sale. And I thought it would be a good idea to make things look as legitimate as possible. Yeah, that's a great idea, man. I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna holla at you. Okay, so now we can purchase it. 50000 but we got 150000 We're good. So now this is the uh, car dealership. And they're going to use the car dealership as a front for stolen cars, basically. It's to base try to hide the illegal um, uh, car stealing. So actually, mafias and gangs actually do this in real life, where they will actually have like a business as a, a, cert a front for another illegal business. In this case, it's a stolen car ring. Read them and weep, cabron. Oh, shit. <laughs> so this is it, huh? The great new business venture that's supposed to save all of our worthless lives? You wanna get in? Look, I thought this was supposed to be our foot on the ladder. I thought we were gonna make this place work. Hey, it might look like we plan cars, but we actually plan it. Don't worry, sweet baby. We're about to go get our first project. At last, it works. What works? Oh, just a simple bit of electronic wizardry and intellectual bombast that hacks into the state-of-the-art satellite immobilization technology on board our target vehicle. <laughs> oh, me. I don't know what he just said, but it's on. Yes, it's on. Wait, what's on? This gadget is set to pick up on cell phone signals. Each time she makes a call, it will give you the new location. You have to stay close if you're going to get an updated position, though. Okay? For sure. Good looking, Z. Don't let a trail go cold. So, sees, um, uh, Zero put, like, kind of like a tracker in that when she's on the phone, it'll, like, ping the last signal, uh, where the car was at. And I think that if you know the exact route, I don't think that you need to um, follow these pings here. But um, uh, I don't remember the exact route of this car. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we're going to steal this car. And so all of these missions involve you stealing cars. Um... Ah.
clip her, uh, clip her back and the spinner out of control, okay? Okay, yeah, I, I remember I, I remember now how frustrating some of these missions can be like really frustrating. And she's still on the phone? Like like after that you're being chased by a maniac, you'd think you'd be calling the cops right now, not being like on your phone talking to somebody else. Okay. There we go. Now I just drive back to the garage in San Fierro, but yeah, this car's a little more than just a little uh, dented right now. This is not good for this car. And I think the car dealership missions, I think that there is, um... I think there is about four missions in total. You can modify street racing cars at this mod shop in Ocean Flats. Okay. The cars you steal for the garage business can be found in Wang Car's showroom. I love that Mission Pass song, or theme. Hey, Carl! There's two cars on the list, they say, and they're in the showroom across town. Let's go get them! <laughs> I always admire your direct approach, huh, Bray? Hopefully I don't get a copyright claim for that. Okay, let's go get those wheels! Problem is, we don't got a car right now, um... I guess we're taking a taxi. Oh! Oh my- no, no. No, my- my bad, Caesar. I'm sorry. Oh no, that was just- that was not good there. I like this place, you know? Where? San Fierro, man. My home will always be the Varios and El Corona. But this city, it has something gentle about it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Kendall seems to like it too, you know? Oh yeah, she's really getting her head into this business thing. That's good. She always been the brains of the family. She should get out together or make something of herself. I think she's aiming to make something out of all of us, eh? <laughs> yeah, she the moms of the family now. Hey, who's this truth guy, Holmes? I don't think he's wrapped too tight. He just sees everything from a different perspective, that's all. At first, I thought he was just another acid casualty fruitcake. But some of the things he say, I don't know, man. It ain't all bullshit. <laughs> hey, you gonna become an alien hunter, Holmes? <laughs> I'll take a rain check on that one. This is the place. They're in the second floor showroom. Second floor? Shit. So you gotta drive off with the cars from the second floor. Can I help you two, uh, gentlemen? Yeah. You can help us by going to help some other motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, the, that sounds like a good idea. All right, CJ, it's time to roll. Let's follow the leader. You better keep up. Ah, uh, you a maniac, SA? Now we can uh, use nitrous um, uh, in these cars too. Hey, CJ, is this fucking fucking working? Wow, the yeah, nitrous doesn't look too good on the re Come on, CJ, remaster. See if you can keep up with Beat the, Beat the tram up the hill. Beat the tram up the hill. Yeah, beat the train, uh, CJ. This tram driver must be shitting himself, huh? Hello, cop. What took you, eh? So just... Whoa! Oh, okay. Follow Caesar here. Watch 
Why can't I use it? It's it's not letting me use it. Yeah, my nitrous. Is it only like one time? Okay, now I can use it again. Okay, season. That's enough fun. Let's get these cars back to the garage. Okay, CJ. Hey, I know a quick route. Hello, cop. We're back again, idiot. Get out of the fucking road! Caesar can drive pretty well. Holy shit! Fuck, Walt. Did you see that? Can we think about getting back before I end up in a car wreck barbecue? Sure thing, Walt. And I remember Caesar's gonna go into an alley, and uh, in this alley part, you need to be quick. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh oh, oh crap! Get back up, hold back up, back up. Well, what are you, what are you doing, okay, Caesar? Well, good. See you back at the garage, DJ. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I wrecked the car. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at what I did to it. Yeah, I got it. It's in a manifold. Shit, I just changed that seal. Must have got a crimp in it, damn. Hey, C's, your boy is here. He ain't my boy. Hey, we're almost living a normal life, huh? This is far from Grove Street, right? Yeah, I know, but I just can't get it out the back of my mind. Mom, sweet. Smoke? I just can't let that go. I know. So what we gonna do about Sweet? See, it's a shitty situation, but I gotta let it play out a little longer, okay? Okay, but be careful. We ain't trying to lose you again. That's right, sis. Good looking out. Hey, girl! I got a rap to you, Holmes. I know a guy who knows a guy who handles freight containers down on the docks. He saw one of the containers was loading up cars, and one was a match for a car on a customer's wish list. So he marked the container with a spray can, but it might be too late. The ship's loading and it moves out tomorrow. Okay, let's go peep it out, see what we can see. I remember this mission now. This is the mission where we're gonna move the containers with the crane. I think that San Fierro is probably the easiest city to do activities in, like, Vigilante and Firefighter. Because wide open you know, streets, and it's also, home. like, the smallest the city. Man, those things are real high up. I ain't too good with ladders, and I'm afraid of heights. Okay, I use the crane. You better be ready to crack the container. Ah. Yes, sorry about your car, Caesar. That's the ship, CJ. Okay, I'll go sort out the crane. Give me a second. Well, be quick. I don't want to be caught slipping out here. So there's some important cars they gotta steal here. Um, and um, the See, thing is, these um, none of these is marked with spray paint. Well, we'll just have to try one at a time, eh? The guy um uh, scammed Caesar. He told him that the 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 cars would be um that the cars would be sprayed with um uh. They, that they, that the important crate would be sprayed with spray paint, but it's not. Um... Okay, 
Okay, we lower this. And also, these, like, car missions, these aren't necessary towards, um, uh, the main story. So if you don't want to do them, you don't have to. Um, uh, okay. Not this one, CJ! But, um, uh, they are, you know, you do get cutscenes for them and they do have a story to them. And chronologically, this would be, like, you know, right around the end of the San Fierro storyline, like, right where I'm doing this, because they mention Sweet kind of still being in prison when they say, like, you know, what are we gonna do and stuff. But you can do this even after you finish the main story. Um, but if you want to get 100%, I'm pretty sure these are mandatory, yeah, for 100%. And I think that none of these uh, crates are, is actually going to have the um, uh, the car in it that they're looking for. No luck, CJ! Try another! The thing is, though, is you begin to wonder, where is security? Because you would think somebody's somebody's able to get onto a, a massive crane like this and just pry open these, like, crates that have, like, cars in them. You know, where is the security right now? Oh! <laughs> oh man, I, I didn't... <laughs> oh no, back heat off. Oh. I didn't realize it was gonna do that. <laughs> that was just... <laughs> it, 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 you dropped the crate by just a few feet and it blew up. Okay, so here we go. Last crate. Okay, CJ! This is the one! Good work, Hobbs! And here comes the security now. Hey! What the fuck do you think you're doing? CJ! I could do with some help! Oh, and I think I still got the AK, don't I? I do, okay. This will make it really easy. Hey! Hold it right there! I can do with a little help, CJ! Stay right there, you thieving bastard! Let's just grab the car and go! Now, you know what makes no sense about this? They're leaving Caesar's car behind, which makes that that if you gotta if be you, an easier way to earn a living than this. Sure, Holmes, I guess. But what else you qualified for? Yeah, I feel you. That the thing is, you just left Caesar's car behind there, which makes no sense. When the police show up at the scene and they see a bunch of dead bodies, and then they see Caesar's car, they're gonna trace the license plates and see who owns that car, but. You know, it's video game logic, so you can just leave Caesar's car behind. I know I, I, I know I analyze things a little too much, but, like, you know, I always try to look at everything with reason and stuff, and, um... Hey, Holmes, that was fun. We should do that again. So, with, with the crane mission, it doesn't matter really what crate you pick up. I'm pretty sure that it's always the last car, the last crate that you pick up is where the car is. And so now there's car exports here in the um uh that you can complete the list. And you complete the list, you get um a reward, and you get that you have to do that for a hundred percent completion. That was a, a really weird number, eight thousand four hundred twenty-five. I guess it was based on the damage that the the car got. Look, Jeffro and Dwayne, and Dwayne are just sleeping right now. This mission hey man, where is you gonna been? be pissed. I tricked one of the cars on a shopping list. But the crazy bitch, she drives like the devil. I've been following her for hours, but she stopped for nothing. You'd have to ram her off the road in order to get a chance to get her car, and you know a wrecked car is no good to us. I swear she's playing with me. I already Dude, delivered a bunch damn. of wrecked cars. <laughs> If she playing with you, then she probably won't get one time involved until it turn ugly. We gotta find a way to stop her or slow her down. Too bad we can't involve the police. 
Cause then we could pop her crazy bitch tires and bang her crazy bitch ass in jail for being a danger to my sanity! You know what? I think I got an idea. Get in the car. The car's been modded to, uh, to use stingers. Those are kind of like those spikes, you know, the cops dro uh, drop to basically stop um, people. But I'll tell you something. When people hijack cars in real life, um, what they, you know, there is very, you know, usually it doesn't happen where they hotwire cars because a lot of cars today can't be hotwired. I'm not a car person, by the way, so I'm not a complete expert. But I know that a lot of modern day cars cannot be hotwired like the older cars. And so people, the, the car thieves, they prefer to steal cars um, when the people are inside them. And how do they get people out of the car if the, if the car doors are locked? There's actually a very common trick that they do. And for instance, um, in Poland, uh, my parents' country, there's actually a very common trick that car thieves do, and um, we're taught to, you know, watch out for it. But basically what people will do is the car thieves will be in a car. There will used to be two of them. They'll get behind you at a red light, and then what they'll do is they'll lightly tap the back of your car. Not to do too much damage to their car, barely anything, maybe a few scratches, but you will hear it. You'll feel it, that they've hit your car. And then what you do is you get out of your car to see what happened. That's the whole point. That's the reason that they um, lightly tap your car, to get you to get out of it. Then usually a big guy will walk up to you, throw you to the ground or intimidate you, and he'll get in the car. The other guy will be um, then follow him, and so they'll leave with two cars, the car they originally came in and now the car they stole. And then they'll usually take it to a chop shop. I know they do this trick, you know, everywhere, all around the world, not just in Poland, but um, uh, in Poland it was actually pretty common. Car thieves did that a lot, and people had to watch out for it. Okay, so now um, we're going to have to try to drop this stinger in front of her. Um... Okay, she crashed in her own. There we go. That was actually pretty easy. The, the thing I don't understand is how did CJ manage to repair all those, like all those like wheels like all those like tires like you know that quickly that pops the tires it basically makes it useless to drive anywhere how the hell did cj you know change those so quickly and before the cops showed up but i guess it's video game logic and a play a place where there's a uh, very common to see stolen um car parts is at a scrapyard Scrapyards, they have it. Obviously, you know, I'm not saying everything in a scrapyard is um uh, is stolen. I'm not saying that. And there's honest scrapyards out there. But um, there's a lot of times the thieves, they will take them to scrapyards. That's where they will take some of the stuff. And um, I'm trying to remember. I I don't know if scrapyards have to keep records of the items that come into their um into their yards. I, I'm not sure on that. But I know pawn shops, for instance, pawn shops have to keep records of every single item to come into their shop. And that's specifically to look for stolen items. So, you know, let's say that somebody has, like, some expensive ring stolen, right? Um, all the police need to do is basically just call um, uh, all the local pawn shops in the area and just, like, ask them, do you have a ring that matches this description? Because they have to put a police report in on it. So every single pawn shop has to um, uh, put file a police rep report, a record, of every single item that comes into their shop. And so the police are going to know when, you know, the stolen item appears in the pawn shop. So criminals a lot of times are pretty stupid. Um, they'll take it to pawn shops thinking that they can get a quick buck for it, but then the police will show up and arrest them. I think that's the last mission, is it? It is, yep. The property will now generate revenue up to a maximum of $8,000. Make sure you collect it regularly. So there we go. We got it, and we pretty much got most of our money back for the car dealership. So the car dealership is definitely worth investing in. It'll help you make a lot, um, a lot of money really quickly. Let's go to Zero's RC Shop really quick, because um, Zero's RC Shop um, should have, um, uh, should actually have, like, full money right now. Oh, great, there's a bike behind us, too. Oh, 
I'm um, surprised only a thousand dollars how to be more but um that's it um uh that's it those are the two businesses that you can own in San Fierro you can own zero's R RC shop and then you can own the car dealership oh oh uh, what is this um oh this is you know no I, I don't want to do this right now no. okay so I accidentally started up that mission that's the RC mission RC side mission but uh, those are the two businesses that you can own in San Fierro. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys um I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. On the next part, we'll be meeting that mysterious caller. So thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Take care, everyone.